What's up guys, BD Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com, back again with a little update to the Planet Audio P225HC amplifier. Uh, check the description for the full test. What I want to do here is just do an update and test the amp at 1 kilohertz. All the other tests I did were at 40 hertz. I just wanted to see if there's any difference. See if we're able to get closer to that 800 watts that's rated at 1 half ohm mono. So check out this test here. We used one kilohertz at uh, half an ohm mono. We did all three tests, certified, uncertified, and dynamic. All right, so we changed the uh, track to track nine, and we're gonna try a certified run at half an ohm mono at one kilohertz. Probably a much easier load on the amplifier. Let's see if it will Okay, so still not getting 400 watts. 389 watts at 13.9 volts. All right, just for comparison, we'll do um, an uncertified run at half an ohm. Again, we're running this at one kilohertz. Much easier load on the amp than the 40 hertz. to see what the power output difference is. Okay. Not very much, 405 watts at 13.85 volts. We got 400 watts at um, 40 hertz, so very close. And we'll just check out the dynamic run at half an ohm mono. This is the burst test at one kilohertz. And there we go. 575 watts at 14 volts. All right guys, there you go. The test of the Planet Audio P225HC, this time using one kilohertz to see if we get any closer to that 800 watts. We got a little bit closer in the dynamic rating, but still well away from the 800 watts it's rated. And again, the amp dyno is not at fault here. All it does is it measures wattage based on the input voltage the load on the amp and then what kind of power the amp can put out there's no way to cheat it there's no way to make it look lower than it really is or make it higher it just does its job and what it tells me is this amp is overrated so there you have it big d whiz oh schoolstereo.com until next time on here